Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse here, and I'm back for another PC and mobile accessible game video. This game came out a little while back, but I just really haven't gotten around to playing it uh, yet. And uh, we are taking a look at the PC version available through Steam. Uh, we are looking at Blind Quest, The Enchanted Castle. And as I'm recording this, I believe there was a sequel or new episode or something that had just been released uh, within the last week or two. Uh, I got an email about that. So I don't know really anything about this game. I don't know what the controls are, what the story is, much of anything. I know I've heard there's been some mixed reviews about it. Um, but we're just going to go in fresh and we're going to see just what this game is all about. So let's launch The Blind Quest. This is a self-voicing accessible Welcome game. Welcome to Blind Quest, the enchanted castle. Okay. <clears throat> Press control to start a new game. Press C key to listen to the credits. Press escape to exit the current game. Control it is. Welcome to Blind Quest, Wayfarer. Are you ready to hear the story of Nathan the Mercenary? Well, get ready then. It's such an exciting adventure, you'll feel like you're experiencing it firsthand. Okay. Remember, I'll need your help to reach the end of the story. Stay alive, if possible. Use tab yeah. and shift tab to explore the environment. Forward and backwards. <clears throat> Use the control key to examine the interactive elements. The space bar to open the pause menu, and the I key to access the inventory. During battle, press the up arrow key to attack. Press the left, right, or down arrow key to dodge. Use the space bar to drink a healing potion, and control to hear Nathan's health amount. Great. Now that all that is clear, we can go. Our story begins in Nathan's room. The mercenary has just woke up, and his day is not going to be so good. Okay. I don't know. Kn reached Nathan's room. <laughs> Press tab to move. Oh. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, so this seems like it's like an old school adventure game kind of a thing. Um, I don't remember all of the controls. You have tab and shift tab to go through the control or the interactive things. You have, um, I forgot what space bar does, uh, control examines. You have your inventory and then you can get into battle. So let's tab. Door. Wall, window, casket, Ooh. desk, door, wall. Is it space to examine? I don't remember. Or is it control? On the wall, there nope, are some books of arms and old weapons. Nathan is a mercenary, and he has collected a lot of odds and ends from the battles he has fought. Okay. So I can't grab a weapon? You opened the menu page. Oh. <laughs> Nathan reached level one. Press the I key to open the inventory page. Press backspace to go back to the map. Press the escape key to go back to the menu page. Okay, so this, it's not really so much of a menu as much as it is a, like a stats screen of sorts. You have some nice large print, and uh, so if you're low vision, you can also kind of look at things visually. You're back in the map. All right. Window. Sure, let's look at the window. The sunlight lights up the room through the window. And I guess I can't interact with any of these things. Like, I can't grab a weapon off of the wall or, you know, weapon or shield. Casket. Yeah, let's see what's in there. Nathan opens the casket. He gets a healing potion. 
Yeah! Okay, so it's basically examine and use. Okay. Desk. Sure. On the desk is his bag. Nathan checks the money inside. Only one silver coin. Yippee. It is enough for today, but tomorrow he will starve. It is probably time to have a look at the city bulletin board to find a new job. Okay. Door, wall, window, casket, desk, door. Guess we're going out. All right, so. You opened the menu. Ah. Your back you know, I keep wanting back. space bar to be, just because my thumb, you know, kind of rests there. I keep wanting that to be interact or use. Nathan leaves the inn where he is staying. He must go to the central square where he can find the bulletin board with available jobs. You have reached City of Flos, Northwest. Press tab to move. Okay, I will. <laughs> I know they're just parsing different uh, words to audio files together. Uh, a lot of games will do that, especially audio games, but it, it, just, it just amuses me. Okay, uh... Flower. Nathan's room. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, that's bad. Um, so... Southern exit. So, here's the thing. Shift tab, uh, is kind of a bad thing to put in as a control. I don't know why you couldn't use left and right arrows. I mean, you can use left and right arrows to dodge when you're in attacking, I guess. Because shift tab opens up the uh, Steam overlay when you're in a game. I'm surprised that no one has actually realized that yet and reported that to the developer because that is definitely a keyboard conflict. I mean, most, you know, I know it's a common navigational thing for screen readers and such but uh, as far as other games go that is n pretty much never you know you'll use shift or you might use tab but you're never going to use them together um, if the developer sees this yeah hopefully maybe you can change the controls or something like that because otherwise I'm just going to have to basically to get around it I'm just going to have to tab and through all of the things so Nathan's room okay Nathan's room flower commoner woman Eastern exit, southern exit, Nathan's room, flower. All right, let's look at the flower. The fields are full of crimson flowers. Flos owes its name to these fragrant plants. Fair enough. Commoner woman. Sure. The girl stares with a grim look at Nathan. Mercenaries have a terrible reputation. Okay, so there's... Yeah, this is really basic. Like, it's not... And I didn't know if you'd be able to get, like, a dialogue tree or you would get any, like, voice acting from the uh, commoner woman. Eastern exit. Uh... Southern exit. So I have east and south. Let's go east for now. Eastern exit. Okay. Nathan crosses the small city. There are not many people around. You have reached City of Flos, Northeast. Press tab to move. Okay, North. Okay. Saving point. Ah. You know, that's probably not a bad idea. You saved the game. All right, good for me. Signpost. Sure. The signpost indicates that the Versia Plain is to the east. Okay. Water well. All right, let's see what they've it got. It is the major water source for all Flos inhabitants. Eastern exit. Western exit. I probably don't want to go east yet. Saving point. Sun water. Eastern e Western exit. Let's go back west. You have reached City of Flos. No flower. Commoner woman. Eastern exit, southern exit. Let's go south because we're in the northwest, I think. And we want to go to the town square, so, you know, north. So we got to go basically south. Let's do that. 
Nathan arrives in the city market, which is full of life in the middle of the day. But now it is quiet. You have reached City of Flos, Southwest. Press hmm. tab to move shop. Sure, what do we got here? Now it is closed. Okay. It's too early. Bus boy. A young bus boy asks Nathan if he's a mercenary. Press the left arrow to say yes. Press the right arrow to say no. With a disgusted glance, the bus boy says mercenaries are monsters who kill for money. Casket. Nathan opens the casket. He gets a healing potion. Okay. So casket. Um, I guess my my guess would be they they're you know usually in a RPG or something like that. You know I kind of think of them as chests, but I guess they're calling them caskets in this game, um, which is interesting. Eastern exit. Northern exit. Shop. Bus boy. The bus boy says that he doesn't talk to mercenaries. Ah, cool. All right. Well, I blew that. I wasn't sure which one to choose there. Casket. Eastern exit. Guess we go east. The city square is near a large fountain. In the middle of uh -huh. the unpaved yard is the bulletin board where jobs are displayed. Perfect. This is what we're looking for. You have reached City of Flos. Southeast. Okay, oh, Press southeast, all right. Laundress. The laundress tells Nathan that a royal herald has just put up a new job announcement. He seemed very agitated. Okay. Water. There is a beautiful fountain. The flowers are able to grow thanks to the purity of the water. So, it kind of seems like a, like, a little bit more of a, uh, like a text adventure. Kind of reminds me, the, like, those, uh, I think they're, what do they call them, scum engine games, where you had um, these DOS games, these text-based games, where you could, well, no, because those were more like you had different words that you could use. You could use, like, you know, they had different words and items. So you could select an item and then you could say use, examine, or whatever, all kinds of stuff like that. But this kind of seems like a really sequential kind of a point and click um, style. There's a couple games I played several years ago, like Chillingham. Anybody remember that one? I don't even think that'll run on modern systems. I have a disc of it someplace and buried in my closet. Uh, and then there was a Wild West game that I can't remember the name of, but it was the same company. Grizzly Gulch. That's what it was. <clears throat> but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, because, yeah, it's, just, it's all narrated. Instead of using a screen reader, it's just using a little bit of a different interface and a human-narrated voice so far is what I'm getting out of it. Bulletin board. All right, here's what we came for. Board, there is an announcement written by the princess herself. It says that the royal city is infested by ghosts. Because of this, she has taken refuge in the stronghold of Rodom. She is waiting for someone who is able to defeat the ghosts. The reward is 1,000 gold coins. With that money, Nathan could survive for an entire year. <laughs> or live the high life for six months. Press the left arrow to say yes. Press of course. The right. A risky mission, but with a good reward. Nathan begins to walk. The stronghold is far from the city. So, what I... And I don't know, if I would have said no, I don't know if there would have been, oh, well, here's another job, because it almost sounded like somebody else had a job there, too. Like, on a bulletin board, I almost wish it was just a menu where you could, you know, up and down arrow or left and right arrow and choose 
a job, and maybe there is only one, but, eh, I don't know. Okay, well... Casket. Or chest. Nathan opens the casket. He gets a healing potion. All right, I got three of those now, which is good. Western exit. Laundress. Water. Bulletin board. Casket. Western exit. All right, so we go back west. And now we got to go north you again, I reach. think. City of Flos, southwest. Press shop. Busboy. Casket. Eastern exit. Northern exit. Yep, north. Then we got to go east again. You have flower. Commerce. Eastern exit. Yep. You have reached saving city of flows. Sign water. Eastern western saving point. Let's you save it again. again. All right, so now we can signpost water well. Eastern exit. Let's go east. Nathan arrives in the plain of Versha, which is a quiet and lush land. You have reached Plain of Versia, West. Press tab to Waterfall. Okay, let's see what else we have. Dark Cave. Gravestone. Bandit. The battle begins. Blow on the left. Oh. Nathan gets hit. Oh. Blow in the middle. Oh. Nathan gets hit. Blow on the left. Nathan gets hit. Nathan gets hit. I don't. Nathan gets hit. Nathan gets hit. Blow in the middle. I'm hitting. Nathan gets hit. Blow in the middle. Victory. Okay. So Nathan gains experience points. I did Press bad, but I they really didn't tell me. I mean, I know they told me in the tutorial, but I didn't know uh, like if I, when I heard him if I could do like a, you know, I was thinking, "Oh, if he appears on the left, then I could hit left and parry him because there's mechanics like that in the veil or I think there's been a couple other audio games. I think a Blind Legend did something like that, too, where if you did it quick enough... But no, if you hear it on... Basically what you do, it looks... I think... Is if you... Hear it on the left, you want to quick go to the right, and then keep mashing left a bunch of times, because you hear that... Uh, 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 that's me hacking him. But then you have to, you know pause because you need to hear where it's going to hear it again that's why i kept getting hit because i would hammer on the button and then it would override um i would hear a different direction and then i would get hit again so i have to be a little bit more methodical waterfall about that dark cave gravestone tree trunk Eastern exit. Western exit. Waterfall. Okay. Well, uh well, sure. The roar of the waterfall reminds Nathan of his training. Meditating with this sound in his ears allowed him to tone his body and mind. Okay. Dark cave. Not yet. Gravestone. Lonely tombstone on a small hill. To remember the ones who died in the war. Tree trunk. A tree trunk. In the past, Nathan tried to be a lumberjack. But it was not his path. Okay. Eastern exit. Uh, let's go in the cave. Waterfall. Dark cave. Uh, or well, maybe, I, I don't know. I wonder if it'll let me because I don't have a torch or anything. Terrible howl comes from the cave. Uh-huh. Let's back off. Right, so I need to have like a torch or something Grave probably. Stone, tree trunk. Eastern All right. exit. Guess we're going east. Nathan arrives in an abandoned carpentry shop. The place is unused and has been taken over by nature. Okay. You have reached Plain of Versia Center. Press tab to move. Okay. So, 
And visually, you basically just have these different colored shapes uh, to indicate that there are objects. I mean, it's a very, very simple, even very abstract game. I mean, there's no... Yes, there are visuals, but like you couldn't play the game by looking at the screen because they're literally just um, these kind of animated like square shapes with little pokies on them in the corner. I, I don't know how to best describe it, but let's tab. Wolf. Ah, okay, we Your get to fight again. Begins. Blow in the middle. Oh no. So when I dodge the left and right, I can't... Oh, that's right, okay. Okay. I get it now. Ah, I did I, too greedy. Victory. Okay. So it, it's not that it's complicated. It, it's just kind of weird. Like it's not necessarily what I would think the controls would be. I mean, you know, I've played a ton of video games. And it's kind of like, I can't really tell if it's trying to emulate like an overhead perspective or a first person like dungeon battle perspective. So I keep forgetting that when no matter what direction the enemy is in, you dodge the opposite way first. And then what I get, what got wrong is I would I would hit the dire then I would hit the direction that the enemy was. So if he came out on the right, I would dodge left and then I would try to hit the right button to attack. Um because again that's the way that a lot of other games have done it or I don't know for some reason I just that's what I thought it would be. But no matter what, you dodge in whatever direction you're supposed to and then you always hit up to attack. So it's a very, very simplistic, very simplistic fighting scheme so far. Okay, well, my health is garbage, so you know what, let me... You opened the inventory page. Yes, I you did. selected three healing potion. The glass ampoule contains a red liquid. Press backspace to go back to the menu page. What if I want to use it? How do I? Nothing. Healing potion. The glass ampoule How do I use contains it? a red liquid. Oh, I can only. Oh, that's right. I think when I'm in battle, I hit space. So. Uh, the other thing, what I don't understand now, I got hurt in both battles. <clears throat> the game is not clear about telling me. When I'm done with like when I'm done with a battle now, do I regain my health? Do I get full like oh I beat the battle so my health damage resets, or do I have craptacular health now that I've gotten hit several times in both of those battles so far? There's a little bit of unclarity here, so let's you backspace. The menu page. Okay, what do we got here? Nathan reached level one. Press the I key to open the inventory page. Press backspace to go back to the map. Uh, Press the escape key to go back to the menu page. Right. Back in the map. Cut trees. Sure. With the wood from these trees, people built battering rams, catapults, and other war machines. But okay. after peace arrived, no one planted new trees. Eastern exit, western exit, crumbling wall. Oh. A large crack cuts through the wall like a scar. It looks like everything could collapse at any second. Cut trees. Eastern exit. All right, let's keep going east. 
Nathan continues along the way leading to the stronghold. He asks himself if bandits might be hiding in the vegetation. Oh, probably. You have reached Plain of Versia, east. Okay, Press so we've got a whole bunch of different items on this screen. Tree. All right, I hear an I hear a dude. Wolf. Here we go. All right. The battle begins. Blow in the middle. Blow in the middle. Blow in the left. Blow in the left. Blow in the left. Victory! See, now I did it flawlessly. Nathan gains experience <sighs> points. Nathan gets a healing potion. Press control to continue. All right. So I got loot. Tree. There's still somebody talking. Gamekeeper. Oh, okay. The gamekeeper tells Nathan that recently wolves have become more aggressive. Often they attack peasants. He believes that this is due to a specific and particularly violent wolf. He asks Nathan to kill it. Obviously, he will be well rewarded for this job. Fair enough. Okay. Lake. Bandit. Ah, bandit, okay. Battle begins. Blow on the left. Blow on the right. Blow ah. gets hit. In the middle. Yeah, this on the right. victory. Ah, I don't know. Nathan gains experience points. Press control to continue. This battle system. I mean, there's no real stra I mean, <sighs> there's not really a lot of strategy to it or rhythm. You basically your your best bet is as soon as you hear where the sound is coming from, hit, you know, dodge the opposite way, and then just bash the hell out of the up arrow for about two, three seconds, and then rinse and repeat, dodge, and I don't know if there's going to be, I'm sure there'll be different battles where you have to dodge, and there'll be maybe multiple enemies, and that's what I'm kind of waiting to see. You know, maybe you have to dodge twice and then attack, or I don't know. I don't know so far. Tree. Gamekeeper. Okay. Lake. Um. Commoner woman. Sure. The commoner woman complains that it is dangerous to get out of Flos. Luckily, there are gamekeepers. Okay. Western exit. That's where I came from. Eastern exit. Could go there. Tree. Let's look at the tree. An old solitary tree. Where travelers can relax in the shadow of its leaves. Fair enough. Gamekeeper. Already talked to him. Lake. Well, actually, I wonder if there's two gamekeepers. You open ah. the menu. You're back. The Flows country is extremely vital. Thanks to the numerous rivers which quench the thirst of the whole plain. Commoner woman. Western exit. Eastern exit. All right, I guess we're going east again. Nathan begins to see the stronghold of Rodom. He has almost reached his destination. You have reached Plain of Versailles. All right, well, we'll try to get to her. See, at least try to complete a quest. Move. Saving point. Yeah, let's save. You saved the game. Good. Signpost of the bridge. Sure. The signpost indicates that beyond the bridge, towards the south, is the stronghold of Rodom. Okay, that's where the lady's hanging out. Collapsed bridge. The bridge that leads to the stronghold of Rodom is collapsed. Maybe it was destroyed by bandits to avoid reprisals. Pickpocket. Huh. The thief complains of foot pain. He tried to break down the rickety wall, but his scrawny legs had no effect. Nathan asks himself if he would be able to break it down. Western exit. Saving point. 
Signpost of the bridge. Collapsed bridge. Uh... The bridge that leads to the stronghold of Rodom is collapsed. Maybe it was destroyed by bandits to avoid reprisals. So all I have is potions. You opened the inventory page. You selected for you your pickpocket. Western exit. Saving point. Signpost of collapsed pickpocket. Well, so what? Now we got to go all the way back? Because I don't, all I have is potions in my inventory. I don't have any choices of things to do. I can only just hit control on everything and I talk to the pickpocket. Western exit. I guess. Let's see if it get any changes here. You Maybe I'll get a... Plain of the tree. Wolf. Oh, we get another wolf again. All right. Oh well, whatever. Victory. Nathan gains experience points. Nathan gets a healing potion. Press control to continue. I'm assuming that my health must reset after every battle because I have gotten hit several times and I haven't died yet. So gamekeeper. I don't know. The gamekeeper tells Nathan that recently wolves have become more aggressive. Often they so there's probably that wolf in that cave, but I need like a to torch a or something. And particularly violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, whatever. Lake. Um bandit. Oh, okay, we get another bandit again. All right, fair enough. Go away. God, that's ridiculous. Oh, well. There, just mash on it as super fast as you can. You don't even have to worry about blocking or dodging. Nathan gets a healing potion. All right, I got like Rest five or six of those now. Continue. I wonder if there's actually a limit on them. Tree. Game. Lay. Commoner woman. The commoner woman complains that it is dangerous to get out of uh, I just hit control to skip west it. And exit. Yeah, I guess we're going west. And uh, my guess is maybe try to go into this cave. Plain of Versia, wolf. All right, wolf again. The battle begins. I can just keep... Nathan gets hit. Victory. See, all I did, I didn't even have to, I didn't, I mean, I could get hit twice and I could just go, like, as long as you hammer on the button fast enough. I don't know, I'm not feeling this one so much. Cut trees, eastern egg, western egg, crumbling wall. Oh, criminy, did I do the wrong, I, I. Cut trees, eastern, western egg. All right, let's go west. I know there's a cave in one of these. You have reached waterfall, dark cave. Let's go in there. Nathan approaches the cave. Yeah, well, let me go in. It's dark everywhere. Two yellow eyes. With a huge leap, the wolf attacks. Excellent. The Let's do it. Oh well. Victory. Eh, okay. Nathan gains experience points. Nathan gets a healing, healing potion. potion. All right. Press control to continue. Gravestone, bandit. Okay, we guess we're fighting a bandit. I was trying to Go away. I'll just dodge and do it. I'll Proper. Victory. Yeah, oh boy. Nathan gains experience. Yep, experience. Nathan increases his experience level. Yay! Press control to continue. The roar of the waterfall reminds Nathan. Okay, of I got the waterfall. Dark cave. What if I go in there now? Now the cave is silent. Gravestone, tree trunk, eastern exit. All right, let's go east, because now we can go talk to the ga uh, the gamekeeper and you say I slayed the thing. Plain of Versia, wolf. Ah, fine. All right. The battle begins. 
Victory! Yeah, okay. Nathan gains experience. And I got a healing potion! Nathan Yay! Gets a healing potion. All right, cool. Cut trees. Eastern exit. Let's go to the east. I can see this working on mobile in a way, but Plain for the PC, Persia. it really seems pretty basic. Rest tree. Wolf. All right, I gotta fight again. The battle begins. Bring it on. Bring it. Oh well. Kill it! There we go. I get hit three times, but we got him. Nathan gains experience points. Press cool. Country. Gamekeeper. The gamekeeper is relieved. Now the wolf attacks should decrease. Nathan gains a healing potion. Yeah. Okay, how many of those do I have? You opened the inventory page. You selected nine healing potion. I wonder the if I. I wonder if I have nine of them, or if I just maxed them out at nine. I wonder if I can get ten. Your back lake, bandit. The battle. Okay. Oops. Oh well. Victory. Oh okay. Well, we smoked him. All right. Nathan gains experience. Tree. Press control to continue. Gamekeeper. Lake, commoner woman. The commoner woman complains that it is. Uh, she didn't have any new dialogue or whatever Western since. Ex Eastern ex Go east. You have reached Plain of Versia, far east. So. Rest saving point. Let's sa you save. Save it. Signpost of the bri collapsed bridge. The bridge that leads to the stronghold of Rodum is collapsed. Maybe it was destroyed by bandits to avoid yeah. pickpocket. The thief complains of foot pain. He is sure that on the other side of the wall there is a great treasure. So Western exit. Saving point. Signpost collapse pickpocket. Western exit. Saving point. Sign po collapse pickpocket. Western exit. Honestly, this should give you guys an idea what this game is like. Um, I think it might work a little bit better on mobile just because, you know, I could see this using touch gestures and it could work okay. Um, but, I mean, I definitely appreciate that the game is here, but... You know, I'm not quite sure where to go, but I'm, you know, because we, we finished that quest. So we, we did accomplish a quest. I, I will give us that in this video. Um, we have the thing on the bulletin board. We still got to get across that bridge. My guess is we got to traipse all the way back to town. Maybe that store will be open and then we'll be able to either talk somebody, talk to someone in the town or we'll be able to get something at the store. I haven't really gotten any gold. I have one gold, so the store actually won't do me any good now that I think about it. So it's kind of going to be like, okay, go here. You know, it's just, you know, kind of fetch quests and very, very basic rudimentary combat. Um, I, I mean, I got to say... Yeah, I mean, even the stories, it's just, you know, like, here's a couple sentences. I mean, I don't really feel invested in the world. I don't really care about the characters that much or what's going to happen. I mean, there's it's not like the story isn't really being told in a way that I'm like, oh, man, okay, this is kind of a cool setup or... You know, oh, I wonder what's going to happen to this character. It's just kind of... I don't know how to describe it, but it's not sucking me in. It's not really um, doing much for me. And, you know, again, I, I'm not trying to... You know, I'm not going to just be like, oh, it's... You know, I know some people just thrive. You know, you see on social media, people are thriving on... Oh, well, this game is too... This game sucks. It's too simplistic. Or why isn't this free? Or why, you know, all kinds of different complaints. 
not just blind, not just blind people, but like, but just gamers in general. I mean, people are just, you know, they're, they're mean. Um, but I, I'm glad, you know, this is probably made by one or two dudes. That's cool. It is an accessible audio game and I'm, and I'm, it's great that it's on multiple platforms. That's a cool thing. And I don't know, again, I, I heard that there is a sort of a sequel or a later episode. I don't know if it plays pretty much just like this or if they've expanded the gameplay mechanics at all in the sequel. I mean, you know, the thing is, is especially, you know, making any game is hard. Um, you know, I can critique a game all I want, but I've taken enough computer programming classes to know that I suck at programming. Um, so even for me, making a simple blackjack game is enough to drive me insane. So, um, I don't know. I just, uh, what I will say is, uh, it is Blind Quest, um, the Eternal Castle, or, or no, Enchanted Castle. Uh, it is available on multiple platforms, PC and mobile, probably Mac too, but uh, like I said, I'm not positive. But, you know, if for someone just getting into audio games, I could see this working pretty well, and I could see it working, you know, something to pass the time on mobile, sure. But... I got, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the gameplay is not very deep. Um, you know, it's kind of repetitive, basic. You know, now we got to go basically tabbing through all these different zones and going back and, you know, it's a little tedious. I mean, it's just this game is not, I mean, I'm sorry, but this game just it is not doing it for me. Um... But I, I, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I'm not going to bash a developer, but I'm not going to, you know, like, oh my God, it's another audio game. Awesome. You know, it's the best thing ever. I do want to give you an honest opinion. I don't remember what this game cost. Actually, I can check. Um, let's do that, shall we? Um, let's see how much this costs on Steam. Store. Let's look. Blind Quest. Okay. Blind Quest. The Enchanted Castle. Five bucks. I mean, you know, like I said, for a first game uh, or a basic game, you know, you want to kill some time, maybe you just want to, you know, see a kind of a a uh, little adventure story, you know, I mean, it, it's not bad, but, um, nah, this is something I don't know that I'm really going to come back to. Like I said, there's the story and the game mechanics themselves are really not, are really not hooking me. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found the video helpful. If you did like it, like the video, you know, give it a like subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, you can also follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, and illegally cited.com. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.